will an arrest happen? A grand jury could begin to hear testimony as early as tomorrow. Prosecutor Robert McCulloch told the Wall Street Journal this, quoting him. Absolutely everything will be presented to the grand jury. Every scrap of paper that we have, every photograph that was taken, in quote. What if the grand jury still does not indict? Let me bring in our senior legal analyst, Jeffrey Tubin, to walk us through first and foremost, sir. Um, what, how, how, how would an indictment happen? How okay. does the grand jury work? Uh, most people don't know this. Let's, I mean, it's, ve it's very different from a trial jury. First of all, it's just the prosecutor, the witness, and the grand jury, the jurors. Mm -hmm. Usually 23 people, although attendance is not always perfect. Doesn't have to be. Okay. There's no judge. So the prosecutor really runs the show in a grand jury. And the prosecutor asks questions. Often the grand jurors themselves are, are, are allowed, allowed to ask questions. There are effectively no rules of evidence. Hearsay is admissible. It's a much more informal process uh, than a trial. At the end of the grand jury investigation, the prosecution says, we request that you find probable cause, not proof beyond a reasonable doubt, okay. probable cause that the following crimes took place please vote this indictment. Doesn't have to be unanimous, unlike a trial jury. It could just a majority of the grand jury can vote um, for an indictment. And that's so, when one could see a charge against this officer. Correct. The, uh, it will only happen if a majority of the grand jury votes okay. to, 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 however, that's how it works in, on paper. In the real world, prosecutors control grand juries very closely. That's why people, we have to talk about this prosecutor, Robert McCulloch, so people are calling for him to, to recuse himself, and let me just, let me just explain this to all of you. A uh, Missouri state senator spoke to CNN about why he should give up the case. Take a look. Voluntarily recuse yourself from this investigation. The people in the African American community, they do not have the confidence that you will be fair and impartial. He doesn't uh, have the fortitude to do the right thing when it comes to prosecuting police officers. His cousin is a, uh, is a police officer. His mother works for the police department. His uncle is a police uh, officer. And again, we think that his judgment will be clogged. So she questions his judgment, Jeff Tube, and there's also the issue which other people are bringing up, that when he was a little boy, his father was killed by an African-American man. All examples, some people are saying he should walk away. Well, this is always a very difficult thing because prosecutors and police officers in general work together. Hmm. They're partners. When I was an assistant U.S. attorney, FBI agents were the people I worked with every day, even more than my fellow prosecutors. Okay. Um, that's what makes investigating the police uh, very dicey. And it often happens, not always, but it often happens that regular prosecutors recuse themselves. I, I, you know, I frankly don't know enough about this situation to say whether it's appropriate for him to recuse himself, but you can certainly see why calls to this effect would be made. Let's just be fair to him and read his, his response. He has a statement. So in response to these calls, um, the, the, the office has said this. Mr. McCulloch has been the elected prosecutor in St. Louis County since 1991. He has been reelected every four years by an overwhelming majority of St. Louis County. The people have faith in Mr. McCulloch and he will continue to do his duties. Jeff Tubin, thank you. Very Appreciate good. it very much.